Hey, Urban Nights. I just want to do you a little quick thing on lavender since we're right now we're in June in our area, winter at zone seven. And just wanted to show you a lavender plant that's been here. These plants are two years old. But one of the things I talk about frequently when we have uh, people coming to the herb fest is I talk about a lavender wand. And let me show you what you do with a lavender wand. You see the spiky flower of the lavender? We actually, you break it off at the bottom. Now remember, you can use the leaves for cooking, like putting them in cookies. It's, it's great. You get that lavender flavor and fragrance. It's wonderful. But see me breaking it down, stripping the leaves? Now, if you had a bunch of these, or you can do this, it makes for a great gift. You literally fold this over, bend it, put a bunch around, you tie it. You end up with something like this. This is now, if you're getting ready to take a bath, and you want it to smell like lavender, it's a lavender wand. You swish it back and forth in your bath water and that lavender fragrance will get there. Plus it's a great, lavender is known as a relaxation herb. But that's one of the ways when I talk about a lavender wand, that's the way you do it. Of course, you can see with the flowers, you can get many more off. But lavender itself with the spikiness and the way it grows, it smells great, it's a beautiful flower. And remember, lavender is the herb of relaxation and you know a new way that you can use lavender to help relax. Thanks.